working with animals, especially highly trained ones, can create a special connection between man and beast. One Iowa organization is helping military veterans and individuals with special needs via an innovative equestrian therapy. This therapeutic outdoor experience breeds trust, builds confidence, and empowers visitors to ease their way into equine rehabilitation one horseback ride at a time. An argument could be made that horses, not dogs, are truly man's best friend. What animal has done more for us than the horse? They've carried us into battle, pushed civilizations through impassable terrain, entertained us with their speed, and provided companionship when a person simply cannot. Today, these majestic creatures continue to provide these and many more irreplaceable skills. However, for some, the ability to form a calming relationship is their most indispensable talent. In Decora, Thunder Road Therapeutic Riding has cultivated this trait to help those in need. For 10 years, Michelle McLean has been offering equine-assisted therapy to individuals looking for solace, whether treating multiple sclerosis, anger management, attention deficit disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, or one of many other ailments. Horses can do wonders to provide peace. We are here doing great. Equine-assisted therapy has actually been around since the 1960s. And the, the neatest thing about it to me is it's still grassroots. The first state funding I've heard of actually happened in Wisconsin. Starting each April, Thunder Road provides therapeutic riding for youth in need through its Iowa Thunder Empowerment Program. And Michelle sees every aspect of the experience as helping kids achieve a sense of calm. Which part of it isn't therapeutic? <laughs> first of all, it's sensory because you're brushing, you're petting. It puts you in the driver's seat that you have to calm them down and you have to remain calm so you're learning emotional control. Because if you're not paying attention to what's going on underneath you or you don't want to get stepped on bit or whatever, you have to pay attention. And that's what empowers them. So once they have that confidence, then that carries over into everything else they do. And while participating in Thunder Road sessions has done wonders for the riders, the empowerment kids are still kids who simply love interacting with animals. I love hearing horses. Probably just the feeling about being around the horses. It's calming, really. Just being outside and on something that also enjoys being outside, it's nice. The other thing that the horses do for people is they listen, but they don't talk back. <laughs> and if you're doing something they don't like, you know immediately. While every summer weekend, Thunder Road opens its ranch to children with special needs, Michelle has recently pushed to reach a very special group, veterans suffering from PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. We still don't have the veteran that comes out once a week, but that's coming. So what we started with is we work with Disabled American Veterans Chapter 8, which is our region. I went to a DAV meeting and we all said, well, what should we do, what should we do? We should have an open house. What it did, as it was the beginning. In the second year of Thunder Road's veteran equine therapy services, the farm was invited to the Iowa City Tea Tournament, an event which provides legally blind and eligible disabled veterans opportunities to develop new skills. That event showed Michelle the true power of her animals with a blind veteran. I mean, our first year, we had a gentleman, he got on Lily and he didn't get very far. You know, Lily was shaking. So first thing I said was breathe, and Lily started kind of relaxing and dropping her head, and then I asked the gentleman to pet her. And then I kept my hand on his hand, and she started dropping her head, and she let out a big sigh. I told him, I said, before you get off, I want you to know you were successful. You got on, you rode, you're getting off safely. Kurt came over and he told us that guy was blinded in Vietnam and hadn't left his house in 25 years. So for him to even come to the tournament, and pick horseback riding, oh my gosh. From that experience, Michelle has expanded her veterans outreach efforts with an annual Veterans Affairs open house. This year, Thunder Road hosted various veterans groups including local VA hospitals, equine assisted therapy providers from Wisconsin, and various speakers detailing personal experiences with PTSD recovery. I'm deathly afraid of horses. On February 17th, 2014, I had a friend say, 
Time to Conquer a Fear today. I made an appointment for you at Trinity Equestrian Center just to get to know horses. Then in June 2014 is when I actually had the appointment set, went out, sat down, met with Tony and said, I need help. Equine assisted therapy has been nothing short of a blessing to former Army Sergeant Brandon Drost. After being honorably discharged from the military, Brandon found himself in the throes of PTSD, and it nearly cost him his life. It's been a dark road for me for quite a few years. I'm one of those guys that tasted the barrel of a pistol too many times. I lost a marriage, lost a lot of my friends, lost a lot of my family members, and then somebody showed that they cared about me and wanted me to get better and kind of put their foot in my butt and got me to go. Today, equine assisted therapy has brought Brandon back from the brink. So much so that he's comfortable enough to share his story at Thunder Road's event. And he gives all the credit to his Wisconsin equine therapy provider, and of course, its animals. Our horses almost show the same emotions as humans. And horses, unlike humans, they don't have an alternative motive. They aren't there to get personal gain. They, what are they gonna gain if I'm there or not? I've really just put the connection of, they're not there for themselves. We're there together to help each other. And it's just, it's worked for me. I don't know, it's for life. It's my light on a dark day.